Hi everyone, so it's uh, been a week since we've been home almost and it's been done nothing but uh, pour with rain in, in Cyprus so I'm trying to find some of the various little projects that I've been wanting to do uh, that I can make use of my time uh, while it's uh, raining. Uh, so here I am in the dome and I've got the RAS 11 uh, on the CGXL at the moment and one of the things that I'm wanting to do is to move my guide scope from the top uh, rail onto the bottom rail uh, to minimise the risk of the uh, the dome slit uh, colliding with the uh, uh, the guide scope and interfering with its field of view. So what I'm planning on doing is uh, modelling up a new uh, 3D printed uh, holder. So at the moment, I'll just take it off. I've got this uh, mount here that I 3D printed uh, previously uh, that fits the wide uh, Lismandi rail, and what I'm wanting to do is uh, mount it down here and obviously I've got to factor in the distance uh, from the uh, the back of the, the saddle uh, and I've also got to factor in this um, end stop on the front of the rail. So I'm thinking if I could probably sit it round about here uh, it shouldn't interfere obviously the biggest uh, the widest point is uh, is at the front handle uh, which in theory I could take off but I'll just leave it because it's not doing any harm and I'll just model something uh, that will sit uh, on the front of the scope there uh, and allow me to um, you know, get a sufficient clearance that it's not going to touch anything uh, when it rotates and also factor in that end stop although again I could probably take the end stop off it's not needed if this is going to be clamped on and I'm not uh, moving the scope uh, anyway so I'll go and model up something and we'll, we'll see how we get on catch you in a bit all right, so I'm inside. I've uh, logged into Tinkercad into my account, and this is the model here, the Lost Monday clamp plate that I'm going to use as my base model. So this is the one that's currently on the guide scope. So I'm going to create a copy of that and let it do its thing. And there you can see the models come up there. So that's uh, a copy of the original. So what I'm planning to do is I need to add 40 millimeters of height uh, onto the base plate. So effectively add 40 millimeters additional depth of uh, here to offset. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to chop it short just to the three central holes. And then also leave a channel down the middle uh, for clearance of the end stop. So I will get on with that now. That should be my new riser. So I guess the next thing to do is to print it out. So to do that, export STL file, select the shape STL, there we go. And if I double click it, this should open in Cura. And there we have it in Cura. Now, Printing it that way is not the best due to the supports and printing it the other way would probably 
given the size of those holes, we should get away with it. So I'm going to rotate the oblate model, and we'll just do 90 degrees that way. And you can see everything that's touching the base plate. And we've got our three mounting holes for the rings. We've got three countersunk holes for the bolts to hold the rings. And then I've got the holes for my thumbnail screws, which I will insert into there. And then that gap in the middle is obviously wide enough to clear the end stop. All right, so we slice this. I've got it set for 0.2 millimeters uh, layer height and my uh, infill is set for 5%. Uh, is that going to be, it should be rigid enough, but let me just slice it and see how it looks. It's going to take four hours, 15 minutes at that settings to print. And if I hit preview, and then use the slider at the left, we can see how the model's going to build. And uh, yeah, the, the infill's pretty sparse, so I'm going to increase that to 10%. Reslice the model. aren't very thick. It's only two layers. So I'm going to increase the wall thickness to uh, one millimeter, which gives me three layer lines. Yeah, sorry, three nozzle lines. Just to increase the thickness. Uh, provide a bit more strength and we'll give that a go. So now I can save that to disk. Helps I get the right. Save to removable disk. And we'll go and print it. So I'll catch up with you soon. In about five hours and 32 minutes, going by the time we're on here. See you later. All right, so here we are. I, straight off the printer, I've still got the clean up of the edges to do, so I've printed it over on the edge, uh, sorry, on the edge 11, on the Predator, uh, any cubic printer uh, you can see there behind me, uh, using the orange PLA filament. And uh, next up is to transfer uh, the guide scope uh, onto here after first clearing up the edges. So I'll get on with that now. After all, this one did. 
So I'll do that tomorrow morning. Uh, unfortunately the clouds rolled in again, so I uh, won't be doing any imaging tonight. So we'll uh, catch you tomorrow. Hopefully. We'll speak to you later. Alright, good morning. So it's the next day. Sun is shining for a change, although it's still very cloudy. So here's the uh, 3D printed bit that we left off in the earlier part of the video. Screwed on to the top of the uh, the foot or the sole for the uh, the guide scope, and this is where we're going to put it. And hopefully, get some good clearance there. Screw it down, and all going well. Put clearance around the scope, no problem. And even once I find the guide scope cable, excellent. So there we go. So hopefully now I don't have the big lump at the top of the scope and less chance of it obstructing on the telescope but we'll soon find out alright so there we have it another 3D printed mod for the scope I'll play around with the positioning I might adjust the which uh, holes in the sole it sits on but uh, that'll do nicely hopefully we'll get some clear sky soon but looking at the sky at the moment not a hope in hell but uh, find something to do We'll catch you in the next one. Thank you very much, and we'll uh, I'll put a link to the the file uh, in the description if anybody else wants to download it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.